In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the Italia Emilia map extension by Edo Mods and install the HD texture pack which Edo Mods offers for sale on their website. It's $1.95 USD or 2 euros. Now before you watch this video, it doesn't matter if you've already purchased the texture pack or not. I would suggest that you watch another video that I made which you'll find at the end of this video on the end screen. Just click on it and watch that first. I do a detailed side-by-side -side comparison to show you the difference with and without the texture packs. And then I give you some final thoughts and my opinions so you can make a informed decision whether or not you wanna buy the pack. Now it's only two euros or $1.95, but it also increases the file size of the map quite a bit. So if you don't have a very good computer, this may not be a good option for you. The title of the pack that he uses is a bit misleading. They call it low res, but in all actuality, it's just the same resolution that every other map and farming simulator is created in. So that's why I call it standard definition. So go and watch that video first and then come back and watch this one. If you've already done that, then stick right here. Everything else will be linked in the description of this video. So do check down there. You'll find the link to the Edo mod website so you can download the Amelia extension map and the HD texture files if you want them, and also for the WinRAR archiving software that I use in this video. That being said, let's get this party started. Right, so first thing that I usually tell people in any of my modding tutorials is, Keep all your files on a good quality external hard drive. That way you don't take up a whole bunch of space on your regular drive, which can impair the performance of your computer when you're doing other tasks and or playing games. Now I create three folders and this is a safeguard and it also keeps things nice and orderly. So in the original folder, as you may have guessed, I have downloaded and placed the two files that we need in here. So here's the HD texture pack and here's the map. So you'll download what he calls the low res map and then you'll pay for and download the HD texture pack. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extract each one of these. So right click, extract files. And there we go. Now, based on the performance of your computer, this could take up to half a minute to extract. There's a lot of files in here and it's big, okay? So this texture pack alone is 1.73 gigabytes, as you see over here on the right-hand side. And the map, before we install the textures, is 1.56 gigabytes. So keep that number in mind as we go along here and you see the finished product. So let's go ahead and extract the map now. Okay, so now the map is extracted as well. So I'm just going to drag my mouse over these two, right click and hit cut, or you can hit control X on the keyboard and that'll cut. And then I'm gonna come out to my edits folder and I'm gonna place the extracted files in here. There we go. Now, after we're done installing the textures, then I'll put the completed file in the done folder. And that's the file that I know has the HD in it and I can slide it into my mods folder. I still have the original files just in case I don't like the HD version of the map. I can just reinstall the original version by sliding it into the mod folder. And we're going to be doing this using his readme file that he provided. Okay, so you see it says unzip the file, which we've already done, and the texture pack. Go to the folder, FS22 Italia Emilia Extension Maps, Edo Textures. Replace Materiale folder with the one in the HD Texture Pack folder. So we're going to open the HD Texture Pack, and here's the Materiale. I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard, or you can right click and hit copy. And then we're going to come in here. We're going to go to Maps, the Edo folder. We're not going to the texture folder, Edo. And now we're going to go to the texture folder within Edo. And here's Materiale. So now I'm not going to open that. I'm just going to just click, left click here in the blank space, right click and hit paste, or you can hit control V on your keyboard. It should ask me if I want to replace this. And there it is, replace files at the destination. 791 files. That's a lollapalooza. And there we go. There they all are. Okay, so from this point, we're going to back out all the way to the Italia Emilia extension folders. You're going to see maps, 
and then the map preview that comes up when you load the map and the icon that shows up in your mod list. That's what those are and the mod description. So now all we have to do is rezip it. And these are the files that you're gonna rezip. So we're gonna highlight them, hold your left click down and just drag across and it highlights them. You can also just click one file and hit control A, okay? And that'll highlight them all. Right click, add to archive. That's what WinRAR calls it. Now you'll notice the file name. We're keeping the same file name. It automatically populates it for you because we're in that first folder in the tree. You check down here, make sure it's a zip file, not a RAR or a RAR4. Compression method is always best. And then uh, this should automatically default to 32 kilobytes. There's no other option. Read this part over carefully because you want the exact same mod folder name. Okay, you're gonna hit okay, and it's gonna go ahead and compression zip that for us. Now that it's all nice and compressed, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna take it from here, right click, cut, and back to our three folders, go into the done folder, right click, and paste it in there. Okay, so now this is the file that we're gonna put in our mods folder. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know where your mods folder is on your computer for FS22, but I've made a, a quick access shortcut to the mods folder on my Windows 10 PC. Now I already have the standard definition map installed in here. So when I go ahead and drag this in, it should ask me if I want to replace it and I will say yes. But if you do not have the map in your mods folder, then it's not going to ask you that. It's just going to plop in there. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to drag it right in here. Mods, replace file destination. Now I recommend putting the standard definition map in there to start with that way when you go ahead and replace it you'll know that the name and everything is correct because it's going to ask you to replace good little tip for you so before we open up the game and have a look let's examine the new file size 3.04 gigabytes 3.04 minus the original map size 1.56 gigabytes so it's gone up by 1.48 gigabytes that's almost double so let's go ahead and load the game and make sure everything went according to plan. There we go. So now I'm going to hit page up on my keyboard and I'm going to scroll through this list and just make sure I don't see anything concerning. Okay, so that is an error for the people mod that a friend of mine gave me to put down placeable people. So that's going to go ahead and go bye bye. Between 80 and 100 FPS. If I lock the FPS again, we're getting a solid 60. If we start looking at some crops here, still a solid 60. And I'll go ahead and tab over to the farm. Okay, and here we are. So pretty solid. Now, if you want to know my computer specs and the equipment that I use, so you can have a comparison based on what rig that you run it on, down in the description towards the bottom, you're going to see Atomics Stuff. That's a Google Doc. You click on that link and it'll give you a list of uh, my computer, my specs, my monitors, everything. So do click on that. That way you have a comparison to see if your unit will run it, your unit, <laughs> your PC or your laptop. And there you have it, folks. HD textures for the Italia Emilia extension map by Edo Mods. It's a very nice map, no matter which version you choose. I think that you will sincerely enjoy playing this map. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I've been some help to you. And until we meet again, Please be well and take great care of yourself. Bye for now.